I'm going to show you how I made this DIY incubator. In the end, it malfunctioned and ended up looking like this, but more about that at the end of the video. You're going to need one sheet of some type of foam, an automatic egg turner, some glue to glue the foam together, something to monitor the temperature and humidity, a thermostat controller plug, a small fan to circulate the air inside the incubator, two incandescent light bulbs to produce heat, some glass for a viewing window. I found that picture frames were the cheapest way to get glass, two medium base lamp holders, something to mark and cut your foam with, some type of straight edge to keep your lines straight. First, I opened up the automatic egg turner to see what was inside. It was pretty simple. A base, a motor, and changeable egg holders for different size eggs. Next, I opened up the digital thermostat controller. I placed the internal components onto the phone to try and get a feel of how big I needed to make the inside. Once I determined the internal size, I used my straight edge to mark it out. Then I used a straight edge and a knife to cut the phone. There was a plastic film on the foam side, so I removed that so it wouldn't interfere with the glue. I got everything laid out and in position, and then used glue and wooden skewers to hold everything together. I kept the reflective side of the foam facing inward to keep all the heat inside. I trimmed off the wooden skewers using my Dremel. Then I used some tape to secure everything together by placing bands around all the sides. Here I'm gluing on a piece of foam onto the bottom side of the lid so that part of the lid fits inside the incubator. I let all the glue set overnight before continuing. The lid fits snugly. Here I am marking and cutting out the hole to make the double pane window. You'll need to mark and cut out a recession for your lamp holders. I used the Dremel to cut a recession in the foam for the light bulb wiring.
I made sure that everything was going to fit and then glued and taped the light bulb bases into the foam. Wiring up the light bulb bases is pretty simple and you can find out more information online if you need to. lights work and produce plenty of heat. I used some thin plywood to face the outside of the foam. Here I am gluing on the wood to the exterior of the foam. I am doing this to make it look nicer and keep the foam protected. I made this wall to separate the light bulbs from the eggs. This will keep the direct heat off of the eggs and help circulate a more even temperature and humidity throughout the incubator. Here it is during the test run. I let it run for about a day to make sure that it maintained a consistent temperature and humidity in the incubator. Once I was happy with the consistency of the incubator, uh, we put the eggs inside the incubator and let it run. In the end, it worked for about three days and then the thermostat malfunctioned and went into a constant on state, keeping the light bulbs on. This is scary because styrofoam starts to melt at around 460 degrees Fahrenheit and the thermostat not only erred into an on state, it did not have a built-in device to turn off when it reached a dangerous temperature and started to melt. <laughs> 